Welcome back to more Orange and Orange Juice. Oh my god, in the last episode, we used Sigourney and we totally kicked butt because that is worth a thing. And speaking of which, we got more orange hair. Oh my word, I did not plan this out, but <laughs> we are using Hime as promised in the last video. There she is. She is also from the Sigourney Games. She is the final boss and she has very similar stats and perhaps a very similar approach to um, Sigourney, but we're going to be playing slightly differently with Hime this time around because mainly I'm obsessed with this freaking card, Ambush over here, because I really want that achievement. You'd be great if I get that on like video, but it's not gonna happen. Maybe. Confidence! That is what we learned last episode. Just be confident when you play the game and have a good time with that. But with Hime, her hyper card, not particularly the most useful hyper card in the world, but it's always nice. Uh, it's level four. It only costs 10 stars. And all units except yours will skip their next turn. It's not my personal favorite. It is annoying, but it's always fun to like troll your friends with this particular card because it's like, oh, really? Again, you're stopping me. But uh, <laughs> that's generally how Hime is. She's very, she's overall actually, she's quite balanced. Strangely enough, looking at her stats, she's quite a balanced character despite what she may think. But we're gonna go over the cards that I picked real quick. Of course, nice present, just a standard stable card in the deck. Ambush three, I. Again, with comboing with her hypercar, keeping them in place, it's easier to get a good ambush on them. Shrek them down as best as you can, chip them away, and super all-out mode. This is kind of a luck card, actually. It'll give Hime the plus the attack power that she needs plus three. It does cost quite a bit, so perhaps, you know what? I'm gonna change it up real quick. Impromptu changing of the decks as usual. That is not uncommon to me. We're gonna put President's Privilege in there just because ambush and super all-out mode cost a lot to you, so. It'd be nice to have some security when using that. So that explains that. But this, you gotta hope your opponents land on the spaces and waste their all at most when they use this, just because you want the upper hand on them when you're ambushing them. And the thing about ambush is, it only, this only lasts for one battle. So you gotta make it count. All right, next, passionate research, just to uh, slim, sim, skim down the deck. Slim it down? I don't know. Thin it, thin it down. Thin out the deck. There we go. That's the expression I was looking for. Thin it out, see what cards are coming up. It also combos well with the, the Binding Chain. Get that in your hand. And final battle, if you want to guarantee a kill, that's how you do it. Whether you die or you die, it's the, plus he is on the card, look at that. She looks a little angry in that card, but oh well, she's on it. She kind of looks like Helga from Hey Arnold there. I don't know what I'm saying, but with that, without further ado, let us go in and show this pretty, pretty princess off. Hime is princess, and oh my god. We are up against some heavy hitters this time around. They are not playing around. This press was not the best thing. As usual, I set it to random once again because this is not the characters I wanted to use. But this time around, we have Mind Layer once again, Confusion, and Home Roulette. That should be an interesting set of things. Let's see. The way that we want to approach this, I want to get away from Tomomo as quickly as possible. So, and oh my gosh, she is, she is on our trajectory right now already. And oh my gosh. So the opponents we have today, we all know them as heavy hitters. Tomomo with that plus two Maverick attack power. We got Mark that. Oh, she has very similar stats to, like, Ime. I think that Mark does it better, but yeah, that's just my personal opinion of the whole matter. And oh my god, did you really have to roll so many sixes in one go? And that was, that was fast. That was fast because she rolled two sixes. She really wanted to kick her butts that time around, and she was not playing around. I will tell you that right now. All right. Well, we died the first time around. Tomomo is just a bitch. I'm sorry, I have to say it. She is. She is not fun to play against. So that's why a lot of people don't like her. Which I totally understand. Especially when it's the AI playing as her. I don't care. It's just how it is. So Tomomo, not fun. You know, but we can't let her dominate the board. We gotta go for her. But right now, she is just wrecking house as usual. Who invited you here? I just put her on the random. I probably should turn off who's random. And that running is a bad stroke of luck right now after we had such a good run the first time around Saguri. Oh well, can't run with things, but Kai already got the first level up. It was so quick. It was so fast. We're gonna get rid of here and there. This board is relatively small, so I'm not particularly concerned about that. And oh my gosh. You have to drop. You have to come after me, and you have to roll a three. You evaded that, so what are you gonna do? What you gonna do? You can't evade that, now can ya? Huh. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Oh well. I'm a weird person. Let's see. There we go. Level up already. And we already had humane music, but it's the bomb. It is the bomb. There we go. Defeat two or more enemies. We already got things. It's a very fast paced board right now. We are already. Everyone has a chance. Where is Farm? The last time we played it, we got Farm. And I actually had a lot of fun playing Farm. So I'm a little scared for myself right now, but 
We're gonna go up and get some more stars because Hime needs the stars, and I cannot tell which cards are which. And there's Tomoma getting the level up. All right, we're definitely not getting to get ambush achievement right now just because characters. The thing is, Hime, her stats in general are just underwhelming because she doesn't stand out in any, any particular stat, which is kind of why. Like, I tried Himeo when I first got her, I thought she was really cool. Probably because, like, the thing about it is, a lot of times characters that I like to see are because, like, they get overhyped in campaign mode. It's just like, oh yeah, they look fantastic. They are the bomb, man. That's just generally because of campaign mode, really. Um, we are gonna get rid of... I don't think we need two Binding Chains, maybe? And I'll get rid of... We'll get rid of Super All-Up mode. <laughs> Thinking about it, but, uh... Yeah, the thing, that's the thing. Campaign mode, it's because they play with like a kind of a rigged AI in a way. It sounds really bad, but it's part of the challenge. But <laughs> but the thing is, they make them seem a lot, lot better than they are actually in like gameplay normally. So Hime, to me, she's very safe. She's more safer than QP, I think, because like QP, at least her hyper is fun to use. But Hime, it's just like, I don't know. Something that rubs me off the wrong way about her. I, I, I really do appreciate Hime, but I just, because I don't know how to play her. Maybe that's my frustration in that. But Tomomo is gonna keep, gonna keep bringing this rockin' music in. Mark did not want to mess with us. It's like, okay. Alright, Mark, you're playing it very safe right now, which is fine. Oh gosh, I keep clicking out of the box. There we go. Nice kill. She's trying to redeem herself. It's like, you, you, you bad mouthing me? You bad mouthing me? Oh, I'm sorry. I did not mean to, to be fair. Let's see. Mm. So, uh, there's gonna be two episodes, obviously, that I did of this. Because, like, this project is wrapping up. We got five more characters after this. Can you believe it, guys? This project is coming to a close in about like, half a month now if I keep momentum going this. And as far as this project, I probably will be doing two episodes a week just because Pokemon is going a bit more slower than I expected. Just because uh, the Battle Frontier, stuff like that. If you're interested, watch that project. That's where we are right now in the game. We are currently at the Battle Frontier area right now. But the thing is, the levels are really discouraging me because I have to play an open level. I love how I talk about Pokemon in like an OJ video. You know, that's just how that's just how that's just how game chasing goes. No, that's the wrong. That's entirely wrong reference. Entirely. There we go. Get another kill. But I will say that Chime, she's very pretty. <laughs> she's very pretty. She's a pretty character. Chicken, wreck her up. Yeah, good job, chicken. Good job, chick, chick. All right. Well, that's pretty much for that whole tangent thing. So once I finish this project up, we'll be moving on to the next weekend project. It's gonna be a short project. I always mention this all the time, but but I've been thinking, really thinking, because I did like a stream earlier, like last week. That was a lot of fun, by the way. But guys, I didn't. But that really was a lot of fun. I really want to do more streaming. But the time, times are getting busier in school, so that's just not a thing right now. But the the whole point of my little tangent was that uh. What was my point? <laughs> the point is, is that I was... Because like one of the games that I wanted to play on stream is actually a series I want to do on my channel later on. I didn't play it yet. I was heavily considering playing the game for my channel. But now, having like run a couple things, it really did work out. I'm talking very vaguely just because I'm vague as a person. But yeah, just trust me on this. It's a project I'm considering either streaming or doing a Let's Play of. I don't know if I want to do it a weekend project. I was going to do it as a main series project. Ugh, just a lot of things on my plate right now. We are going to get rid of Big Magnum. We don't need it. We're going a more safer route. There's no way we're getting the ambush team, but anyways. I need that cookie too. Because health is important, especially when there's no recovery on the board. But yeah, that's the thing. I got it all planned out. Don't worry, guys. So yeah, let's heal it up and run for it. Oh, drops. There we go. There we go. Ah, uh, uh, I should really bring water. I always forget to bring water with these recordings and stuff like that. It's been on my mind. But you know what else has been on my mind? Like today, actually, I saw like an application for like Nintendo of Canada actually put up a couple of like they want retail ambassadors. And that sounds like a really fun job that I want to try to apply for. Whether I get it or not, it doesn't matter. But I really want to go for it. You know, just go for it. That's a thing in life that you probably would hear a lot. Just go, go for it, man. If you see something you want, just achieve for it, and that is not where I want to warp to at all because we're- Oh, thank god. He went that way. Oh, dang. That was a quick boss. That boss did not stand a chance. To be fair, everyone on this board has plus one attack, so I'm not particularly surprised, but 
It is shocking. <laughs> I say I'm not surprised, but then I say I'm shocked. You know how that works. Ooh, let's see. Ooh, that's an uncomfortable. Oh, why am I dropping all these these refs in here? Maybe because I saw like watched a video of the game chase before actually recording this, so that probably wasn't the best idea to be fair. But oh well, when am I ever fair? <laughs> let's see. You know what? Nah. We'll do it next turn. Next turn, baby, because we're level 5 already! Woo! I think we can set up for a particularly good win right now if the cards are in the in the right. Oh, well, you're dead. That wasn't what I had hoped for, but... I was hoping that she would actually survive so I could chain it up and chain attack. That's what I'm gonna call it. I'm just gonna call it chain attack, why don't I? Because that's what essentially it is. You just chain them down, and then you try to attack them. But it's also a great stall tactic, for instance, because I want to get away from Tomomo. Get away from me, girl. Oh, and another chain. This is why chain roulette is really annoying. Chain roulette? I just mixed up home roulette. That's my B. Uh, do we want to go home right now? No, I want to get more stars, actually. Because the, the home roulette warped my home over here. And I can't see my hand, so I can't go for it again. What's in my hand today? Yes, you stay still. These skip cards are really good. You may. I feel like, do you think he would be like a controller of time? That feels like a superpower or like a special power that I would want to have in real life. You know, there's always like that chrono kind of thing that's heavily inspired by time. That's always been so cool to me. I guess that's why I like Celebi because not number one, it's a grass, it's a grass legendary. So that's always cool to me, but no, but oh, but second of all, oh dang, she's having bad luck with those puddings right now. But second of all, I guess it's just really cool because like, Time is always such a relevant thing in like our lifetimes, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like, what if I can control time for myself? That'd be a fan. That'd be that'd be magical stuff like that. Because time is of the essence. It's something that is out of control, and the fact that magic can put it in our control is just quite spectacular to me. It's just something that I think about at times. I think with the randomest stuff, people have told me it's like, are you a very spiritual person? I don't think so. I just think about a lot of these things. In my past time, I guess. I don't know. Ooh, she's going for that final kill. Especially with that. Oh man, that would have been nasty. But she obviously got the win. Because Tomomo is wrecking the house, baby. Let's see. I'm hoping Tomomo does go home. Just oh, not that way. But we got the upper hand. We we did, but now we we're dead. So that did not end up as I planned it to. Come on, come back to life so I could get my vengeance and deal with her. This is why Tomomo sucks. God dang it, Tomomo. Get out of here with your OP-ness. I can't even see my hand now. We're back to life. Please don't let- as long as she doesn't kill anyone else, we're good because she went for wins. That is not- not in her favor right now, so there's a chance. There's a chance we can get this back. Oh well, there goes- there goes my chains. I should have used them. Should have went with my guts, but oh well. Let's see. We can still pull this out. Hopefully. Hopefully K. Well, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. But right now, that is not important. What's important is winning. Oh, you got correct. Well, there goes that. Super all-up mode. Let's go. We are ready to kick butt. Ooh, Assault. That is a good card. But I don't like that she's getting more health back. I really just want to kill her. That sounds terrible, but who cares? Who cares? This is my game. I say what I want. This is how I feel. And uh, we're gonna set that to salt card up real quick right now. Do I? No, there's no point in me going that way. So I'm just gonna bide my time and get more stars. And hopefully, Tomomo does not get any kills. Because the it's interesting when you look. You never really get to take a chance to study this board a lot, but there are quite a few. The battle spaces are interestingly spread out, and they call this stage like pudding chase, but it's funny to me because it doesn't seem like there'd be really much pudding chasing on this particular board. Oh no. Oh no. She has the wins. We just have to make sure she does not get home. And she is awfully close to home right now. We are going to get you. You landed on the space that I have put on the trap. And that was tragic. Oh, well. Oh, thank God. I was like, you dick. You better not get after me. Get at it. Here's more super all out mode. Because I'm super all out right now. I'm going all out. If you know where that's from, then clearly you played too much of that game. That is very vague. Because this is the vague episode. Because Hime's strategy is very vague, and we're at turn 41. I just gotta point that out every single time, don't I? Boom, you're dead. That 
I keep wasting these super almost. My whole tactic, the whole point was for the others to waste it, not for me to waste it. This is this is just tragic. Trash, trash, even. Let's see. You don't need all those stars. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. No, not me. I meant Tomomo. Why would you do that to me? Oh, home roulette. You better happen soon because if you don't, then Tomomo's got this. She's got this in the bag. Ooh. You know, I'm just flubbing it up over here, hoping that we can potentially take over somebody else. That's all the tactics that we've got going on right now. Ooh, baby. It did not happen. Well, let's see. Well, we're done. We're pretty much done. That is the game. We were close. We were very close. I have, I commend Hime for putting up a fight, especially against Tomomo. But Tomomo, the, the, the it's so stacked on her favor. It's crazy. But there we go. That's the game, folks. We did our best. Let's go. Let's go get some samosas. I want some Indian food. I'm hungry. But thank you guys so much for watching. This is my Pixel Plume, and I'll see you next week for more Hunch's Orange Juice. Later, folks.